Hi everybody, it's Anne here from Anne'sHappyStampers.co.uk and I'm just back with another tutorial. Now, what we're going to make today is this cute little um, purse bag and it came about when I did that uh, the video for the sloping purse on um, Sunday and I just played around with different things and came up with this one. So it's actually round on the front and back and then it's got a little uh, velcro dot and it opens up it's quite hard to see because it's dark it's navy but it's got it's quite a good size inside and I just think it's so cute and it actually looks like a real little bag and it's got two little handles there so I'm going to show you how to make it because um, it's really simple now what we're going to use today um, well actually I'll tell you what we need okay so I'm going to use rich razzleberry and some of the new um, petals petals and paisleys DSP which is gorgeous I want to show you it in a minute I'm going to use pardon me this um, like kind of I forgot what you call it gingham stuff um, so you're going to need a piece of card which is eight and a quarter by four inches or 21 centimeters by 10.2 you'll need a little piece to close the bag which is three quarters of an inch by three inches or 1.9 by 7.6 centimeters and for the handles I made these ones I think these were um, half an inch wide but I think they're a little bit too thick so I've made these ones thinner so you're going to need two pieces which measure a quarter of an inch by six inches or 0.6 centimeters by 15.2 and I've cut out from the scallop oval um, dies I've cut out a one in rich razzleberry and just a normal one in very vanilla because I'm gonna just I didn't put one on here but I'm gonna just attach it with ribbon and just have a little sentiment hanging down and you're gonna need I'll get these out actually so the layer and circles you're gonna need all I used was the biggest plain circle and I just used the layering size down to cut the DSP so the large ones for the card the smaller ones your DSP so you'll need two of each okay and that's it and for the sentiment I'm just going to use thoughtful banners and I'm using sweet friend that's all I'm going to use and quickly I'll just show you this is petals and paisleys and it's absolutely beautiful I'll just quickly show you um, again they're all double sided and oh, the quality is just absolutely beautiful as always just show you a quick sample there really is some that's the one we're using and the other side is that this is really nice as well and you get um, two foil ones which that's like a spotty gold or copper foil and that one's beautiful and that's the um, other bit of what we're using and also I know we're not going to be using these today but I will be using them soon I've got the stamp set which is Paisley's and Posies and this is just absolutely beautiful I have that and I've also got the Match and Paisley framelits which I just can't wait to do some stuff with them and in the catalogue they're on page 46 and 47 and you can get it as a bundle and save 10% okay and um, I've also got um, the copper 
foil, the trio pack of ribbon as well, so it's really beautiful. Right, okay, so let's get cracking with this. So first of all, take your large piece, eight and a quarter by four inches. And we're gonna score this. Not much scoring to do really, so just pop it in on the long side and it's dead simple. We're gonna score it at two, four, six and eight inches. And in centimetres that is five, ten point two, fifteen point two and twenty point three. Okay, so two, four, six and eight. Dead easy. Turn it to the short side, <coughs> excuse me, and score it at two inches or five centimetres. And then I'm just trying to work it out because I don't want to make a mistake. So yeah, it's the second square and the last square. We need to mark partial score roughly to about the middle so this one we'll mark it at so at three inches mark about halfway down and also at seven inches so you want that okay and I haven't worked that out in centimeters but that'll be on my blog and then take the little three quarter by three inches piece and all you want to do with this is pop it in on the long side and score it at one and a half inches or 3.8 centimeters and <clears throat> that's it for the scoring so we'll just saw our um our base of our bag out Okay, so you've got a skinny score line here. You just want to remove the end little piece here. Okay, and then each three of these score lines just cut up them to the next score line. And then these little partial lines, I'm just going to give them a little, just a little fold the opposite way, just to help it fold up. And then it's going to go together like this, and they're going to pinch in. So we need a bit of adhesive. Um, a bit of adhesive down the side here. So I'm just using some strong tape for this. Okay. And just remove that and then you can just fold it over and pop it together. And then you want the seam at the back. So we want some tape on here, so I'm going to pop some couple of pieces of tape here just to secure it. So that'll go there, and then yeah, I want a piece of tape on here as well. Okay, so now we can peel the tape and get this nice and straight. And actually, I probably should have put a little bit there as well. 
just so that bit doesn't flap around when it's closed. Okay, so we'll stick this down like so. And then you can just pinch it in and you'll find it will just fold in itself. So that's your little inside of your bag. Now to do our circles, so what we need, what I did was just pop the circle on and you want it where you can't see any of the bag peeping through so and you want a little bit of a gap on a little bit of an overlap and then I just took a pencil and just literally draw a line along there and then I know that I need to remove if you can stay you can see the line I need to remove that okay and if I can give you a measurement for it I'll just get my ruler out it's stuck um, so I would say you would need to remove a centimetre you know along so a, a cent go a measure a centimetre up and then just draw a straight line and um, just cut it straight off so I'm just going to use my scissors you can use your trimmer if you would rather and then to get the next one I'm just going to pop it on there get it straight and then I'm just going to literally follow that line and just cut the same okay and then you'll find now when we get our little bag okay it will just glue on there tape on there like that okay and that's how we do it so now I want to layer it up with this so I'm gonna basically just get it on where there is you know a nice little border around and then where I'm happy with that I'm just gonna literally turn it over and draw a line like this but then obviously I want a border there so basically all I'm gonna do is just cut a little bit past the line I've just made and then hopefully that should layer up quite nicely which it does and then I'm just gonna do the same for this layer it on there get it nice and straight okay and I'm just gonna it's quite hard to see I'm just gonna follow along and just trim that as well so now they're both ready to stick on to the bag and to get them quite precise well we, we need to stick this bit on first so I'm just going to use a bit of fuse for this just get the, oh, there's a hair on and it's really annoying us so yeah I'm just going to stick some adhesive on here Just get this nice and straight, as level as I can, like that, and then the same with the other bit. okay and then to pop these on the bag what I find to get it nice and accurate is I just actually put the tape on the bag so you're going to definitely want a bit right at the bottom 
so it doesn't move about. And a bit right at the top. And then just a bit in the middle as well, and then you know it's definitely stuck. So just do that on both sides. Okay, so we can now peel our tape off. And then literally I can grab it. <laughs> All I do is just line it up where it seems to be nice and straight and even like that and then literally just press it on like so and then just take your bone folder make sure it's pressed down and that's that and then the same on the other side just think it's such a cute little bag but you know it looks really nice I think there would be you know great little table favors or little gifts you could probably um those like round lint or chocolates I think you could probably get maybe three or four of them in you know or in anything you want really okay so that looks good to me And just press that down and then you just basically hold it you know it'll just hold shut like that which like I say is quite a lot of room in there so we just need to do our little handles um, yeah do the little handles and stick the little um, fastener thing on so I think we'll do our handles now so if you just take them and all I like to do is just get my bone folder and just give them a little curve and it just helps the shape and basically I'm just gonna have them like that and just pop them stick them down on the inside okay so and that one on this way so we want some tape just on the very end of each handle So we'll peel our tape off and then I know I roughly want the handle about that long so I just really, you want to stick them right into the corner because you don't want it to get in the way of the little clasp thing that we're going to put on. So literally just right in the corner and same for this one in the corner just press that down and there's your little handle same with this one so just 
in the corner and then just try and get them both the same like height which you can normally judge and there's the little handle stuck I just think that's so cute okay so I'm just trying to work out where the seam is yet not that it really matters because you can't really see it now so our little um little band thing to keep it closed I'm just going to burnish our little score line and the score line obviously is going to be for the middle of the little bag like that so you want some tape on this little uh, half piece here just to stick this to the back of the bag so I'm just going to put two little pieces there and then stick this on the back if the tape wants to come off Okay, so what I do is just hold it closed, make sure I get the score line in the middle, get it level, and then just try and get it nice and central in the middle, and stick that down, and there's your little closure. And then I've got some... Um, little velcros again or you could use magnets if you wanted to and I'm just gonna um, get this out and just cut, a, cut one off one of each I think I picked these up from eBay they were, they were only like a couple of pound so I normally just stick them together and then peel peel that off and then place it where I want it on here about there and peel that bit off and then close the bag and just press down there we go there's our little velcro closing and then I've also got um, I use like a little brad on these ones but I've got some of these little buttons but I think they're retired now but you, you know you could use whatever you want just a little little diamante or something would you know whatever you want to use and all I'm gonna attach this on with is a glue dot so I'm just gonna literally stick our little button there we go now how sweet does that look really really cute I love it. Re really, really chuffed with the. Uh, really chuffed that I came up with this. Right, so our little sentiment. Like I say, you don't even have to add a one if you don't want to. Um, I've got sweet friend, and I'm just gonna stamp that onto the very vanilla oval, and I'm gonna use rich raspberry. Okay, so I'm just going to try and get this nice and central if I can. There we go. And then I've got some dimensionals. I'm just going to pop two on there.
actually now that I think you know I probably should have punched the hole in first because mm, I don't know it might not work mm, yeah I'm gonna punch the hole in before I stick it together so the one eighth of an inch punch just a little hole in the middle and then just line it where I know I want it and then just another hole through the rich razzleberry and with a bit of luck this should line up yeah that looks good and then I've got some of the gold one eighth of an inch ribbon so I'm just going to chop some of this off and just slot it through well try and slot it through <laughs> Oh, come on. So, up through there. I knew only one bit would go through. Oh, is it? Yeah, that's it. And then, oh, it's twisted now. I'm just going to slot that through there oh god I'm making this look really hard <laughs> there we go just pull that there which looks pretty and then I'm going to tie it on round just one of the handles obviously don't tie it around both or you won't be able to open the bag so I'm just going to tie tie a little knot Why do they never go right when you're trying to fill them? Try again. There we go. Just a little knot and I'm just going to trim off the little edges there. we've got two little bags I hope you like them I think they're just so cute and like I say I think I mean you could if you like the thicker handle that is um, half an inch wide but this one is just um, a quarter of an inch so I mean I quite like them both um, it's up to you what size you want the handle but um, yeah I think they're lovely so I hope you'll have a go at making one um, all the details will be on my blog as usual and I'll be back again soon with another tutorial so thanks for watching and bye for now